So hello and welcome to another 25 days of Dax Fridays challenge. This time is solution 5. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go down there in the description below to read everything that you need in order to participate. And remember, it's never too late, okay? So if you need help with solution 5 for day 5, this is the video. Let's get started. Okay, so the question was how many products are above the average unit price that we calculated yesterday, right? So let's do it with our DAX first. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create our table. So we're going to have our product names and then we're going to put our average measure that we created yesterday in there. Obviously the average price in North Wind that does not change, it's always going to be the same for each product. But if there were multiple prices, it would give you the average for each price for each day or season. And once we have that, what we need to do is to have here the day four, which is the average, is which is above unit price, so it is greater than 28.87. We know what the price is. So this will give us the list of the products that actually have the average price above. And now we're going to count them. So product, name, and we want to count to know how many they are. And there are 25. So this means that there are 25 products where the unit price is above average. Okay, so now how do we do it with DAX? Let's do that. We're going to create a new measure in our measures table. Mm -hmm. Day five, we're going to set a variable to set the average price. This is our average price. And that is going to be the average of our unit price. Okay, return. Now we want, come on, we want to count products. So we're going to do calculate. We're going to count the number of products, count product. You can take either ID or name because in Northwind it does not matter. The product name is unique. And then count the product names on what table. We want to create a table on the products table where the unit price is above. So we're going to filter the product table where the unit price is bigger than the variable that we just created, average unit price. And then if we put the A5 into a card, you see 25 products. Now the reason why I'm doing like this is because I need to have it in a card. So if you are not visualizing it in a car, you will probably do it differently. But for me, I have to do it this way. Okay, so did you get it right? How many you have right? Let me know down there. And I will see you again tomorrow for a solution for day six. So enjoy the challenge.